an email through our website or reach out via our tips line. Here's First Alert Chief Meteorologist Dave Aguilera. Dave. Hey, happy uh, happy Friday. Oh, well, it's almost Friday, <laughs> isn't it? Not, I was I jumping ahead of myself. Dave, we'd love to be there with you. <laughs> I wish it was Friday. Oh, man, what a windy Thursday we've been through. We had a peak wind gust today uh, in the Denver metro of 47 mile per hour, and that spread a, a thick layer of uh, dust over the city out there. So visibility is poor, and it has dropped the air quality down into the moderate category as well. Thankfully, though, the wind has really died down in the last uh, hour or so. So take a look in Fort Collins. It's only going about 16 mile per hour up there. Nine in Boulder. Downtown Denver's at 13, about 12 in Castle Rock out of the northeast right now. So that's good to see. That wind was something we had today. And as a result, that red flag warning we had in effect till 6 o'clock has been allowed to expire. So we're in good shape as far as that is concerned. And even in the mountains, only about 5 to 10 mile per hour from Evergreen, Vale, Dillon, all the way up into Steamboat. The winds are dying down there as well. I do want to show you the wind time lapse, though, and show you exactly what happened today. We take you back to 8 o'clock here on the weather map. Cold front came through right around lunch hour and at about 1130 you can see it really zooming through sections of Wellington, Eaton, Greeley up there 30 to 50 mile per hour gusts of wind and then after the noon hour it kind of eked down into Denver. 130 we had a 45 mile per hour gust of wind here and it's been windy throughout the afternoon. Now here's the latest we've got from DIA out to Wiggins and Deer Trail out here 30 to 40 mile per hour I guess still going on, but in general, everything is kind of decreasing in intensity on that front. Behind the cold front that came through today, we also had a little bit of snow up there on the Continental Divide popping in some locations right along Rocky Mountain National Park up there. And now we're clearing out with the clear skies tonight. It is going to get very cold. In fact, we take a look all across the mountains, the front range into the eastern plains. A lot of temperatures tonight will be dropping into the 30s, and that does include a big chunk of eastern Colorado. Now, Denver's not not in this frost advisory here, but from Brighton all the way up to Greeley, Fort Collins, and also Parker and Castle Rock down towards Monument Hill and beyond into eastern Colorado. Could go about 32 to 35 uh, degrees tonight. So midnight tonight through 9 a.m. tomorrow, frost on the pumpkin and maybe on the garden and the potted plants. If you still have some of those, you may want to cover them. Freeze uh, warning out here in northeastern Colorado where it's going to go 32 to 26 for the northwest plateau. A little colder out in that part of the state. And you can see the numbers here. So, for example, Rangeley's out in that zone, 29 there. Yuma out there is in that frost advisory. Will be about 30 degrees out that way tonight. So a cold night with the clearing skies and the cooler air coming in behind the front. Tomorrow morning, a few clouds down south, and in the afternoon, we'll have a few clouds in between. Mostly sunny skies, but a cooler day on the way. Let's uh, take a look at our temperatures. We're expecting around the front range, 34 in Greeley, 39 in Boulder, and you can see in the metro area, upper 30s to near 40 degrees. Not a hard freeze by any uh, stretch at all. 66 in Greeley tomorrow, 64 in Bloom Broomfield, and we should be about 66 in Rock Roxborough. Statewide tomorrow, 70s only out in the western side of the state. Everybody else in the 50s and 60s statewide, including the mountains and including DIA. Now, by the time we get to Sunday or Saturday, 76, a little breezy. It's going to feel like summer on Bronco Sunday into Monday here, and that is ahead of our next cold front, which rolls through on Tuesday and Wednesday with the first alert weather day possible Tuesday 60 with a chance of rain and then Tuesday night into Wednesday morning rain may be mixed with snow and 46 degrees for the high by then should clear it out by the time we get to Halloween though Halloween will be in the 50s mostly clear skies but at night it will be chilly so I hope you picked out a very warm costume this year there might be a little shivering going on when you're getting the candy all right Dave we'll be ready thank you all righty well let's get over to Romy Bean who is joining us live at Ball Arena and Romy it is finally basketball season. Uh, finally, you know, we're in the